we are back for another room makeover today. We're working in the kitchen, as you can see, for a DIY kitchen makeover. And this is gonna be such an insane transformation. I'm going to be painting all of these cabinets here. And then over on this other side, we're going to be ripping out these top cabinets, building some custom shelves, painting the lowers, and doing a custom backsplash from countertop to ceiling for a more open, beautiful coffee bar area. And then we'll be running that same backsplash all along here as well. And I just know that it is going to look amazing. It's going to tie in the vibe from these other rooms back here. And I am just so excited for this. So I'm gonna get started by priming all of these cabinets, of course, and start working on painting. Before I can start painting, the first step is to use this liquid sandpaper, which is a no mess degreaser and deglosser. I find this at Lowe's or Home Depot or any kind of hardware store, and it basically takes the place of using a sanding block or a hand sander. These were not real wood cabinets. I wasn't sure if they were a laminate or veneer top or what kind of material they were, but I did know that I was not willing to risk messing them up by sanding them down too much or anything like that that so I did opt to use this liquid sandpaper instead it's something that I have used on many projects in the past and I'm always so impressed with it it's kind of a three-in-one product it does clean really really well which is the degreaser part of it and then it also takes off that shiny top coat finish which is the deglosser and then it roughs up the surface which takes the place of using sandpaper so it created a really good surface for the primer to stick to and in the end you guys will see the paint came out beautifully so I was really happy with taking the time for this first step I'm just going to use this liberally on all of the upper and lower cabinets and then as I'm going through them I'm also going to label all of the cabinet doors and pull them off so that I can paint as efficiently as possible I needed a really heavy duty primer, so I'm using this Zinser Interior and Exterior Multi-Purpose Primer, and I was hoping that it would do a good job of covering all of those warm yellow tones in the wood. These are definitely very old, outdated, very yellow cabinets, and I knew it was going to take something really serious to be able to cover those up and prime them correctly. So I actually was recommended this by the counter lady at either Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever I was buying it from, and she made a great recommendation. It worked out really well. I did have to do two coats of it, but after that, it neutralized all of those warm tones, and they did not end up showing through in the end, so that's exactly what I was looking for, and if you are trying to replicate this project or painting cabinets for the first time like I was, this is a total game changer. It did a great job of letting the actual cabinet enamel stick to it, and and giving it a smoother finish overall, but it also did a really good job of neutralizing all of those warm tones, which is exactly what I was looking for.
So this was actually my first time ever painting any kind of cabinets, but especially kitchen cabinets. And I have got to say that I completely underestimated how time consuming and labor intensive this project was going to be. This is not a tiny kitchen by any means. There were definitely a lot of cabinets to be painting. So that took up a majority of my time spent on this project. But I watched dozens of YouTube videos ahead of time and read dozens of blog posts. I reached out to my personal friends to ask for product recommendations. I was well researched and I felt like I knew what I was doing going into it. And then it was kind of like a slap in the face when I realized that there was no way that it could be done in four or five days as I had initially planned. But even in a week or two, there was just so much work that goes into it. And I wanted to share that not to discourage you in any way because I wholeheartedly believe that anyone can do this if they try, if you put your mind to it, and it is 1000% worth it. It is so rewarding and satisfying in the end. But I just wanted to remind you that the content that you see here on social media and on YouTube, it is all highly curated content that is delivered to you in a pretty little package, edited down, and none of the hassle and hiccups, things like that. Those things aren't shown all of the time. So I just wanted to share something that in all of the videos I watched and all of the blog posts that I read, no one seemed to share with me that however long you think this is going to take, double it and then double it again. And that's how long it will probably take in reality. For you guys, it seems like no time at all has passed, but in reality, it is now months later, and I'm finally coming back to finish this kitchen project. It kind of had to be put on the back burner because there was a lot of other projects going on that took priority, but we're here to finish this, finish painting all of these cabinets today and get this kitchen looking beautiful and fully finished. So you can see we took out all of the countertops. We weren't originally planning to do that, but then we decided to have some custom butcher's block countertops made by a friend. So those will be installed probably tomorrow which means I need to hurry up and get these cabinets painted before then. We decided to do a beautiful black color on the bottom cabinets and then we are going to remove this one and this one and replace it with open shelving and these ones we will paint white. Over on this side of the kitchen, we'll also be painting these lower cabinets that same beautiful black color, and then removing all of these upper cabinets to replace it with open shelving. But before any of that can happen, I need to start actually painting these lower cabinets right now, get the uppers painted, and then we can start pulling everything together. This is the paint that I ended up going with. It's the Bare Premium semi-gloss urethane alked enamel man that is a mouthful but this was recommended to me by my friend Danielle she has a YouTube channel called Daniela Diaries and an Instagram account that I love to follow it is so empowering but we chose the color carbon it's a beautiful deep almost black color and I think it's gonna look great on the cabinet so I have got to say, I was really nervous about painting the cabinets black, not just because I had spent so much time priming them for white paint, but also because the flooring in here is really dark and the room doesn't have too much natural lighting. So I was really, really afraid of making it look super small in here by having such a dark color. But once I started rolling this paint onto the cabinets, I instantly fell in love with it. I thought 
that it was such a great choice and it was really really deep but not so much that it was making the walls feel like they were closing in or anything that I had been fearful of before and it just it was gliding on beautifully I'm sure that has to do with the type of paint that I chose so shout out to Danielle for giving the best recommendation thanks for painting your cabinets first so that I could learn from what you did but I just I thought that it was so beautiful I know it looks really patchy here with this first coat but I promise after the second coat everything just evened out and it was just such a beautiful finish part of getting that beautiful finish was also having a lot of patience and trusting the process not glopping on the paint and rolling it on thick because I saw the patchiness but instead trusting that it would layer on top of itself nicely and that everything would work out in the end so I am going to be painting on very thin coats and even in doing that it only took me two coats to get everything completely opaque and a smooth nice beautiful satin finish
So I have the first coat of paint on all of these lower cabinets, the cabinet doors and the drawers, which are just kind of stacked all over the place right now. And it is looking so good. I'm really happy with it. And I'm hoping it's only going to take two coats to be completely opaque. But so far, this is looking amazing. It does say four hours in between recoats. So I have quite a bit of time before I can put on the second coat of paint. It's time to start taking down some cabinets. I've got Nick here to help me. We're gonna take down all of these ones. And then also this one up here and this one over here. Okay, so the countertops went in this morning. They are looking so good. I love them so much. I'm really, really happy that Nick and Ashley decided to go the route that they did and get these kind of professionally done by a friend because he did a phenomenal job. They look so good, especially with the black cabinets underneath. I do have two coats on all of the front facing parts of the cabinets and I just painted the first coat on like the back portions of the cabinet doors. So I do need to let that dry and then I can do a second coat, but I want to show you guys what these countertops look like up close and also the new sink that they chose because it's just beautiful. Look at this butcher's block. It is absolutely gorgeous. It looks even better than I had imagined. And then they chose this black, really deep, big basin sink right here. And it has a stainless steel faucet to pull in all of the stainless steel appliances. But this is just looking stunning. I am really happy with this design choice. This is just looking so beautiful. I really love it and I know that they love it too. There were some touch-up spots from when they installed the countertops that I did need to paint over so that's still drying. And like I said, the inside cabinet doors only have one coat of paint on them so far so you can see the difference between the outside where I completely finished it and then the inside where it's just got one coat but it's just looking so great. And uh, we did put up that cabinet. We took it down and then sat on it overnight and they decided they didn't like the way that it looked down with this other one kind of exposed so we put that back up but we're leaving this one down over here these uppers still need to be painted and then we were going to make our own shelves to go up here for kind of like a open shelving, also coffee station type of thing. But then the same guy who did these countertops, he did such a good job and he said he was available to make some custom shelves for us with the same wood and the same wood tone. So I think we're gonna do that and those are gonna be installed tomorrow morning. So Once the shelves were installed, it was time to style them and finish up this kitchen makeover project. So for the shelves that are above the dishwasher, I wanted to keep those extremely functional. So I am going to be styling them just with these dishes and glasses. These are the ones that Nick and Ashley use every day so they are functional and practical and also beautiful enough to use as decor. I actually have these exact dishes for myself in the white color. I love them so much so I recommended them to Nick and Ashley and saw that they also sold them in this green based black and they were just perfect for this space.
these soap dispensers came from the Target dollar spot for only $5 for the set of two. The pumps worked great, that was something that I was a little bit nervous about, but they've held up just fine and they are pre-labeled, one says hands for hand soap and one says dishes for dish soap. So I'm just going to fill them with some clear hand and dish soap and it just helped to create a more cohesive aesthetic in the space by using these instead of any kind of disposable or throwaway soaps. On the opposite side of the kitchen for the coffee station area, I had been collecting things for quite a while, mostly from Target clearance and the Target dollar spot, but Ashley found these beautiful glass mugs on Amazon. I was impressed with the quality of them and how cute they were. I was just, I was so excited to put them up on these shelves, but I'm just going to get everything set up here and styled for them so that once again, it could be very functional and practical, but I also wanted it to be a beautiful Beautiful, inviting space for them that they could start their mornings making a cup of coffee and just feel good in this space so that was the goal that was what I was keeping in mind the entire time I was styling everything but I wanted it to be functional and practical but I also really wanted it to feel good Before I share an overview of how everything turned out, I'm just going to wipe down all of the countertops with this Method Daily Wood Cleaner and then also clean all of the appliances with some spray way. I just wanted everything to be wiped down, clean, and perfectly shiny for me to give you this final reveal. So one more time, I just wanted to show you the before shots to remind you what this space looked like when I first started in on the project. No offense, but it was just terribly outdated and it was not at all reflective of Nick and Ashley's personal style, but now it is 100% true to who Nick and Ashley are. They have both commented about how this space finally makes them feel comfortable and like they are at home, and that is just the highest compliment they could ever give me. I was so thankful for the opportunity to work on this project and felt so proud of how it turned out and accomplished in the end. This is a beautiful space and I hope that you guys agree and that it gave you a ton of inspiration and motivation for how you might be able to reinvent your own space in your own home. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would love to have you stick around and turn on your notification bell so that you are notified of every time that I post a video. I do have quite a few DIY makeover videos coming up for you over the next couple of months. I'm so excited about those projects and can't wait for you to see them. But anyway, thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me today and I'll see you in the next one.